will talk about how to modularize your code and create a vector DB. So we are continuing our discussions on creating a rag based RLA map. So one of the main part of this to create the rag uh, code, right? So to create the rag code, we will take the modularized approach and we will bundle our code in this uh, build rag.py file, which is present in the utils folder, right? So if I just open it, I have already written the code. So you can see like I'm creating a class. So before creating the class, I am loading the dot env file. So uh, using the dot env file, I'm loading few of the parameters, which are I am doing it in the dunder init method. So whenever I am creating a class out of this uh, object out of this rag class, so that this dot, uh, so this dunder init method will call and this variables will get initialized. And it will also initialize the embedding model because that is quite essential if you want to work with a any rag based uh, approach right so uh, first of all like the the initialization which i already talked about which are like loading it from the dot env file uh, the source data path so the pdf folder path which is is this path which is like source data so there the uh, pdfs are present on top of which we will create uh, the rag then we have this embed model path so the which embedding model we are using that uh, we are also uh, picking up from the dot env file and and passing it to the uh, get embedding model function right so using this uh, get embedding model function we will initialize the embedding model and that we will return and and store it using this uh, self dot uh, emb underscore model variable right and once uh, that is done, we will also uh, get the vector store path where we are persisting our uh, vector store. That path also we are reading from the .env file and we are creating a variable which is uh, a vector store path. So there we will persist our uh, vector DB, right? Then few of the uh, helper functions which I have written, uh, written, this is like load docs. So it is kind of, uh, it will, wrote uh, it will read the pdf files from a particular path so that path we will pass as a parameter to this um, function and that then it will uh, create a loader and using that loader it will load uh, all the pdfs that are uh, present inside that folder then i have talked about this get embedding model which is actually creating the embedding uh, model and uh, it's kind of uh, using this configs also it's kind of creating the embedding model so the embedding model which we are using here is uh, this bg large env 1.5 version right which has a size of 1.34 so which is kind of a, a decent enough size and which has a embedding dimension of 1024 and also the max tokens is 512 so whenever we are creating the text chunks, we should create text chunks which are less than or equal to 512 tokens, right? So that you should keep in mind uh, when creating the text chunks, right? So once uh, that is embedding model is initialized, then I'm creating another function which is split docs here. I'm using this uh, token text splitter and I'm mentioning the token size or the chunk size equals to 500 so based on 500 uh, token uh, counts it will split each of the pdfs and create text chunks out of it right and then it's returning this uh, document so all this uh, i am like using a type checking which will ensure that the type which is uh, the variable that is being returned it is of the type of token text splitter right so once uh, that is done then we have also this function which is like populate vector db so this function we will uh, call when we want to uh, create the vector db and load the vector db with this uh, particular chunks that are being created right so if you see uh, i am first of all i am creating the load uh, docs uh, so there i am passing the uh, pdf folder path and once we have the docs those docs i am passing as a parameter to the split docs which will uh, create the text chunks and that will uh, return the documents which are uh, chunked right so once we have that we are passing uh, those things inside this uh, chroma uh, dot from documents which will uh, create the vector db and we are also passing the uh, vector store path right which we are picking up from the dot env file 
so once that is been done we will uh, do a dv dot persist to store uh, the vector dv in the uh, populate uh, in the particular locations that we have mentioned here using this uh, vector store part right after that we have like load vector db which will uh, load the vector db uh, using the persistent directory and then we have another function which is like get retriever this get retriever will retrieve uh, will will uh, give us back the vector uh, database and that we will use in the rag application and uh, in the retriever qa chain and that we will uh, use as a retriever right uh, let's uh, see how we can do it using uh, a notebook right so first of all we need to like import this so from utils dot uh, build rag import rag so this is the import we need to do then we will create an object out of it So once this object is created, uh, so uh, during the creation of this object only, uh, this uh, dunder init method will run and it will do the initializations which are essential for either doing the populate vector db or uh, doing the get retriever uh, function. So uh, once that is done, what we are doing is once the object is created, then using that object what we will do is at first we will populate the vector db right so the function we will call is populate vector db so that we will uh, call so once uh, that is being called uh, called so uh, the pdfs will be at first uh, loaded in the memory then the chunks will be created and uh, then that will be loaded to the uh, vector database and that will be persisted so all these steps which are being mentioned here so first it will load uh, load the pdfs then it will split uh, then it will call the split docs which will uh, create the text chunks and one, once the chunk, chunks are created using the embedding model it will create the embeddings on the chunks and it will be stored in the uh, chroma vector db and then we will persist that using this db dot persist right so uh, this path where it will be persisted so uh, the chroma db will be stored inside this folder so this path also have mentioned in the dot env file and that will be picked up uh, here to uh, persist the db right so this process will take some time to like uh, like uh, read each of the uh, pdfs then creating chunks and then creating the vector embeddings on uh, the chunk size that has been mentioned and then it will persist that in the db so this is what we need to do whenever a new pdf is being uploaded in this uh, folder or we are uploading a new folder a new pdf file to this folder we should call this uh, rag uh, populate vector db function to uh, again uh, repopulate the vector db right so once uh, that is done what we can do is we can get the retriever uh, using this object right so let me create a variable which is retriever and then using this object we can uh, call the get retriever right so which we can use at a later point of time during the uh, retrieval uh, method using langchain right so you can see this is a, a vector store retriever it, it mentions you that it is a, a the vector database is chroma and we are using the hugging face embedding and the embedding which we are actually using that is the bg embedding right and also it is uh, mentioning that this is object right so i hope you got an understanding like how we can modularize our code and how using different functions you can properly divide each part of the rag building process and uh, create individual functions and during uh, the populate uh, vector db we can like populate the vector db using this function and if you want to create get the retriever out of it we can call this get retriever so this get retriever is in the back end it's calling the load vector db and once it is loading the vector db then it's uh, uh, returning you as retriever object right so with this i hope you got an understanding how you can modularize your code and build a rag out of it and uh, with this i will end this video thank you see you in the next video